Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Logic. In this video, we're going to do a pop quiz, a test on everything we've learned from deductive and inductive arguments. If you haven't seen the last videos in the playlist, go back and watch them because you may want to skip this video. These are for the people who have learned about deductive and inductive arguments. We're going to do about 10 practice questions. Let us begin. Okay, the rules of the game. I'm going to read you an argument and you're going to press pause, try and figure out the argument, dissect the argument, and answer the questions. Then press play to see if you're correct. All right, listen to this argument. Pinto beans are good in tacos. Green beans, they're also beans. So green beans are probably good in tacos too. All right, now press pause. Examine the argument and tell me if it's deductive argument or inductive argument. The answer is 3, 2, 1. That's correct. It's an inductive argument. Okay, now tell me what reasons support your answer. The answer is. 3, 2, 1. That's right, the argument form and the indicator word. Notice the argument form is an argument from analogy. You know that's an indu inductive argument form. Also, the indicator word probably shows probabilistic reasoning, which is also inductive. Now that you got the hang of it, let's continue. Okay, here is another practice problem. Listen to this argument. Eddie has hemophilia. Therefore, it follows that his blood doesn't clot. Now, how is this argument best interpreted, deductive or inductive? Press pause because the answer is 3, 2, 1. You're right, it's a deductive argument. Now, what reasons support your answer? Press pause because the answer is 3, 2, 1. You're right, the argument form and the strength of the inferential link. It is a deductive argument form, and the conclusion does follow necessarily from the premise. All right, and what form is the argument? Press pause because the answer is 3, 2, that's right, argument from definition. The conclusion follows from the definition of a hemophilia. Here's another practice problem. Listen to this argument. At the battle, every Indian shot arrows and every cowboy shot bullets. Therefore, since there were more Indians, there were more arrows being shot. Now, how is this argument best interpreted? Press pause because the answer is 3, 2, 1. It's a deductive argument. All right, now what reasons for your answer? Press pause because the answer is 3, 2, 1. You're right, strength of the inferential link. The argument has no indicator words, and it has no form that we've discussed so far, but the conclusion does follow necessarily from the premise. All right, here's another practice problem. Listen to this argument. Fast food is very bad for your health these days, so it will probably be bad for your health 10 years from now. Now, what would you say is the best way to interpret this argument? Press pause, because the answer is 3, 2, 1. That's right, it's inductive, an inductive argument. Now, what reasons would you say you have for that answer? Press pause, because the answer is 3, 2, 1. That's why, right, the word probably is an indicator word for induction. The conclusion does probably follow from the premise, and the argument has an inductive form. And what is that form? Press pause because the answer is 3, 2, 1. It's a prediction. That's right. The argument proceeds from knowledge of the past, these days, or the present, these days, and it makes a claim about the future 10 years from now. Very good. Here is another practice problem. Listen to this argument. If there are more drugs, then there is more crime. If there is more crime, then there's more victims. Therefore, if there's more drugs, then there's more victims. Now, what would you say is the best way to interpret this argument? Press pause because the answer is 3, 2, 1. It's a deductive argument. Very good. And what would you say is your reason for that answer? Press pause because the answer is 3, 2, 1. That's right. Argument form and strength of the inferential link. The argument has no indicator words, but the conclusion does follow necessarily from the premise. Now, what form does it have? Remember these? Okay, what form does it have? Press pause because the answer is 3, 2, 1. It's a hypothetical syllogism. Notice each premise is 
a hypothetical. If this, then that. If this, then that. All three statements are conditional statements. Here is another practice problem. Listen to this argument. Donald Trump says that the middle class will all be very rich soon. Therefore, it follows that the middle class will have a lot of money and can retire soon. Now, what would you say is the best way to interpret this argument? Press pause because the answer is 3, 2, 1. That's right. It's an inductive argument. Now, what are your reasons for that answer? Press pause because the answer is 3, 2, 1. That's right, the argument form. The argument contains no indicator words, as you'll notice, and the conclusion does not follow either necessarily or probably, but the argument does have an inductive form. And what is that form? Is that form a prediction, generalization, or authority? Press pause, because the answer is 3, 2, 1. That's right, it's an argument from authority. The argument concludes that the middle class will be uh, very rich soon, just simply because Donald Trump, the authority, says so. Here is another practice problem. Listen to this argument. Since 2 plus 2 equals 4 and 2 is equal to 2, it follows that 4 minus 2 equals 2. Now, what would you say is the best way to interpret this argument? Press pause, because the answer is 3, 2, 1. That's right, it's a deductive argument. And what is the reason for your answer? Press pause because the answer is 3, 2, 1. That's right. The argument has no indicator words, but the conclusion does follow necessarily from the premise, and the argument does have a deductive form. And what would you say that that form is? Definition, analogy, or math? Press pause because the answer is 3, 2, 1. This one's easy. You know it. It's math. The conclusion depends on a mathematical procedure. Here is another practice problem. Listen to this argument. If you're faithful to me, then you love me. Therefore, it necessarily follows that if you love me, then you are faithful to me. Now, what would you say is the best way to interpret this argument? Press pause, because the answer is 3, 2, 1. That's right, it's a deductive argument. And what is your reason for that answer? Press pause, because the answer is 3, 2, 1. That's right. The word necessarily indicates deduction, but the conclusion does not follow either necessarily or probably from the premise, and the argument has no form that we've discussed so far. Here is a final practice problem. Listen to this argument. Samantha and Cindy both turned in articles on the same subject, and both articles contained the same errors. Now, since this is unlikely, it follows that they cheated. Now, what would you say is the best way to interpret this argument? Press pause because the answer is 3, 2, 1. That's right. It's inductive. And your reasons for your answer? Press pause because the answer is 3, 2, 1. That's right. The word probably indicates induction. The conclusion does follow probably from the premise. And the argument does have an inductive form. Now, what is that form? A prediction, a generalization, or a causal inference? Press pause because the answer is 3, 2, 1. That's right. The argument proceeds from an effect to a cause. The effect is the occurrence of the same wrong answers in the same article, and it's alleged to be caused by cheating. Well, ladies and gentlemen, give yourself a big round of applause. I hope you did well on this test. We thank you so much. Please post your questions in the comments below. Have a great day, and stay logical.